Hey guys, this is Crystal with Silver Borders, and today we're going to learn how to make these sterling silver ingots out of sterling silver scrap metal. So here's all the things that you'll need to get started. You need safety glasses, a respirator, a leather apron is what I use. There's borax, which I'll go into detail about that later on. So here we have non-stick ingot spray. We have a cup of water to quench the silver. And then we have our ingot mold and a soldering board that I always leave that on. I don't use it for soldering. I just leave that to help with the heat. And this is a crucible that has been seasoned and I'll have a later video about that. And then this is just an acetylene torch along with my igniter. All these items are listed in a link below. So here you can see that I'm measuring out about 20 grams of sterling silver. And then I'm gonna take that and place that into my seasoned crucible. This is the non-stick ingot spray. This is used to keep the silver from sticking in the ingot mold. So here I am spraying the ingot mold that I'm gonna pour the silver into. Okay guys, grab that torch, light her up, it's time to melt some silver. I did speed up this process for you. With an acetylene torch, with my setup, it took about a total of four minutes to melt this down to molten silver. I'm now grabbing the borax. Borax is a deoxidizing flux. It keeps the metal clean during the melting and pouring process. So you don't want to forget this step. You don't need much, you just sprinkle a little on and then you continue to melt. So while this silver is melting, I want to tell you something about slag. Slag is um, impurities, other materials that have separated from the silver during the melting process. Slag might be a result of non-silver items being melted with silver, or it may be the result of silver just having some impurities in it. Regardless of the reason, always skim and remove your slag before you pour or cast your silver. Um, in this, I didn't have any slag, so I was unable to show you that, but maybe in the future, I can make a video of um, if this happens, then you'll know how to remove it. So now that the silver is molten, I'm preparing the ingot mold. I normally heat up the ingot mold for about five seconds, and then I move back to the crucible and continue to heat that kind of jiggling the silver around. Um, it helps me see that it is has fluidity, um, that there's motion in it. You want to make sure that the silver is completely melted. So out of trial and error, I always do this process no matter what for about 30 seconds. Um, after the 30 seconds, I then pour the silver into the mold. So now that the silver ingot mold is poured, I then turn off my torch and then I open the ingot. Just be careful, it can be really hot. Um, and then I grab my tweezers and pull out the ingot mold. Look at there, and she's done. This here can be used to make bracelets, bangles, ring bands. I mean, you can roll it out to whatever you need. All right, this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed watching and learned something new. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment below and I'll be sure to answer. Also, if you feel you gained knowledge from today or if you just like the video, make sure to click that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I hope you have a wonderful day.